Second stop on the Women's World Cup Skeleton Tour. Lake Placid, New York, Janine Flock from Austria. Silver medal in the first event in Lake Placid last weekend. Janine Flock, who knows how to get into a bullet form and fly in the bottom part of the tracks. One of the best speed merchants they have. She posts the best time of the run. She moves into a position for a top five. Kendra Westenberg of the United States. She was sixth in the first event. An American who won a bronze medal on this track the year before. Falls behind Janine Flock on the bottom part of the track. Can't maintain Flock's time. Falls back one spot. Mimi Raniva from Canada, fourth in last week's competition. An athlete from Ottawa, Ontario. She's got a huge lead, bullet form. Flies into the bottom, but she can't hold it. Look at even Flock is surprised. Four tenths evaporated. Now Jacqueline Lowen from Germany. Well, she knows how to get down the track fast. She won the event. Last week in Lake Placid, a world champion, Olympic silver medalist, the tallest athlete in the field. She's got a 1600 lead, big speed into the finish. She's the leader by only 600. But the next athlete up, Alina Nikitina. She's got a 4700 lead, which is an eternity of time. She did not medal last week at her first race on this track, but the six heats of practice must have done something right. She is out to over one second ahead of the field. So in a sport, to hundreds of a second, Snickatina with an unbelievable start, unbelievable finish. She walks away with the gold medal. Lowing, Flock, the other two medalists. Here's our World Cup standings. Jacqueline Lowing still in the lead. Second stop on the BMW IBSF Men's Skeleton Tour, run two. Thomas Dukars, he's way back in 16th place. He had a start mishap, almost fell off the sled. But the veteran pilot who knows how to slide on every track, meddled on every track, he flies to the bottom. He's got fresh ice. He's the fourth guy down in the second run. Posts the best time, 53-44. He moves up. Unbelievable amount of spots. Ten spots. Now this young German, Felix Kessinger. He broke the track record in the first heat of the first race last week. Fell the fifth, didn't get on the podium. But this young rising star from Germany, 2800's lead into the finish, maintains his lead. And finally, Thomas Dukart bows out of the competition. He finishes in fifth. Axel Young, last week's winner. Came from behind to win the race. Beat his teammate, only four hundredths. Going into the finish, there's an uphill section of the track. There's a graveyard of time. He finds it, he loses his position, shakes his head, walks away. His teammate's still in the lead. Now Martins Dukars from Latvia. He's got a 3,500s lead. That's an insurmountable lead for a guy with this talent. He's medaled on every track. He's got the track record at the start and the finish all over the place in his career. And here in Lake Placid, he knows how to fly. 53-69, second best time, only to his brother's time in the heat. But here comes Trechikov, the Russian rocket. Doesn't get the best starts like he used to, but on this day, he shows he knows how to slide. On the bottom part of the track, a little bit behind Dukars, but the afterburners in the last 200 meters, the green numbers, Trechikov finishes out on this. Two gold medals for the Russians. Nikotini in the morning. Trechikov in the afternoon. Dukars in second. Felix Kessinger, his first ever World Cup medal. Here's our World Cup standings. Trechikov in the lead, barely over Dukars. First stop on the IBSF World Cup format. Men's bobsled tour. Here's Johannes Lochner of Germany. Four tenths up on the bottom part of the track into the heart section. He comes through. He posts the best time 55 17. He's the leader. Whether or not that's going to be a medal, up to Betty Meyer. The Austrian team at the fourth best time in the first run. And Meyer 
becoming a student of the game, technology game, knows his equipment well. Got a very good start time on the finish. He beats Lochter's time. Lochter can only look on. Meyer puts himself no worse than fourth. Francisco Friedrich, his team next up. Friedrich, good start. 2,500 lead on top of the track. Should be safe. But losing time on the bottom. And Friedrich can't match Meyer's time. Falls behind. And the Austrians win their first medal of the season. Two slats to go. Oscar Schiebermanis, his team. They silver medal on this track last year. Silver medal in the World Championships in Whistler. And this no longer young Latvian pilot. He shows he's right there with the best of them. Posts the best time in the second run. He's second best time of the run. He's the leader by only 800s, guaranteed a silver medal. Team Justin Cripps. Well, this same Canadian team, they won this event last year in Lake Placid. The first ever gold medal in four-man bobsled for Canada on this track. And Cripps was starting to come out on the four-man. Finishes best time of the run, both heats. Wins by four-tenths of a second. Justin Cripps captures the top spot. He's the leader in the World Cup after one. Good day for Canada. Second stop on the women's bobsleigh tour. They move to the track at Lake Placid, New York. The Olympic champion, Mariana Yamanka, fifth place last week, fifth place at the end of the first heat here. Yamanka, bottom part of the track. She's got a half second lead. And she pulls in, no worse than fifth. Next up, though, Christina De Bruyne. Brudewski is her brakeman. Didn't move with push bar problems. Didn't have this break from last week. Better starts. Boy, they're one of the best lines through the chicane we've seen all week. Best speed. And Christina De Bruyne puts herself into a medal position. Yamanka can only look on. Three sleds to go. Stephanie Schneider. Silver medal last week on this track. Good lines. Pretty good lead up top. Quarter of a second. I think she can't throw that away. But in Lake Placid, you can hit twice like that before the finish line. And that could be a disaster, and that's what happened. Second best time, not as good as De Bruyne. De Bruyne now has a medal. Kim Kalicki, Erin Nolta. This young German pilot won her first ever medal last week in her World Cup debut of bronze. Here she's got a 2200s lead over De Bruyne at the bottom, ducks her head at the finish line, and she secures at least a silver medal. Wow, what a story for the young. German athlete. Next up, Kaylee Humphreys and Lauren Gibbs of the United States. Humphreys, the former Canadian, now driving for the United States after marrying an American guy over the summer. She was in a BMW sled last week. This week, she's in a BTC sled. It doesn't matter what sled Kaylee Humphreys is in. She drives home for her second consecutive gold medal and two tries on the season. Humphreys and Gibbs, the winners in Lake Placid. World Cup standings. It's Humphreys on top of the leaderboard as we go to the Christmas break. Second stop on the IBSF four-man bobsleigh tour. Lake Placid, New York. Yesterday's silver medalist, Oscar Stevermanis. He was in fifth place here in the first run. Unfamiliar territory for this young Latvian, but he posts an unbelievable finish time. He puts himself in the leader's box, four to go. Hunter Church of the United States. Yesterday had a start mishap. Ooh, six to 11th place he finished. And then on this run, he's way behind Keeper Mattis, can't match. Keeper Mattis moves ahead one. Hunter Church, good result for him. He finishes no worse than fifth. Now Lochner here, they were tied for fourth with their team teammate Friedrich yesterday. Off the podium, the German teams, surprisingly. Don't see that too often. Johannes Lochner from Birch's Garden. Second best time of the run, good enough. He's the leader. Guaranteed at least a bronze medal. Now here comes team Francisco Friedrich. 
Friedrich doesn't get the start time that Lochner had. Bottom part of the track, it's close. Right to the couple hundreds. Friedrich trying to catch Lochner on the bottom for at least the silver medal. He can't do it. And Lochner's pretty happy. They're guaranteed a silver, but they're all chasing Team Justin Cripps. He won the gold here last year, the first Canadian victory on this historic Lake Placid track ever last year. Then he won the four-man yesterday, and on this day, again, nobody can match his speed, his finish times, and he wins the event going away. Justin Cripps wins, Lochner second, Friedrich third. Cripps has won both races here in Lake Placid. He's the World Cup leader going to Christmas. For IBSF Television, I'm John Moore. Thank you.